cracking people it's your man cousin t aka the alpha wingman representing high level technicians operating globally and beyond so listen today i wanted to go over five different types of women that you'll see or encounter at a strip club now this is primarily from the perspective of uh, a male exotic dancer um but you know, we still got wait staff, we still got bartenders, we still got the security, you know, the, um, the porters, people, you know, that handle other tasks and utility functions at these parties. So uh, it's not just exotic entertainers who are experiencing these types of women who are observing the ratchet behavior or not ratchet behavior that, that goes on. So I thought it'd be interesting to, to present this. And before I get into it, I just want to put out a disclaimer for all the simp-ass beta blue pill guys who get easily triggered at the thought of your girl being entertained by an ASP. You might want to go ahead and turn this shit off, dog. Um, or not. Just sit back and listen and take some notes as far as what really happens when your girl goes on a girl's night, a girl's trip, or just probably to the grocery store. Anyway, number one. And I, I consider this person to be at the top of the food chain when we talk about uh, my world. And this is Big Sexy, all right? Big Sexy is lower on the social totem pole outside of this space, but she is at the top of the food chain in my world. She's uninhibited. She knows she's big knows that uh, this is a space of non-judgmental energy and she absolutely loves it. She knows uh, the protocols. She gets there early uh, to get a table and brings the singles. She invites her friends. She helps sell tickets actually. Um, she knows the vendors that come out like the toy lady and the purse lady and the wings and uh, snacks lady. The uh, big sexy woman, she she trains the newbies, which is so cool. Uh, she trains them on how to tip. She trains she trains them on the proper protocols and the etiquette. Uh, she shows when to tip and how to allow the seduction to take place, uh, which is a key element to seduction and uh, what I teach my technicians. Basically, what the big the big sexy. Uh, you know a woman does in these situations is she brings an anchoring energy to the space she i guess you can say she's the big mama energy <laughs> in that world uh, that's the that's the thing that i can liken to big sexy is you know big mama on the outside uh who is the one that trains and teaches and it shows the most respect and loves and keeps the house in order basically that could be a, a video uh, by itself and it may translate into one but for the sake of this that's the first type of woman you'll see at a strip club the second one is the drama queen now this is the pretty chick this is the quote unquote queen energy or the diva energy as Ron Wills would put it in the outside world in the vanilla world now, once she crosses that threshold into my world, this is the one that usually gets a rude awakening. Now, in the vanilla world, in the outside world, she runs shit. She's the boss bitch. She's the mean girl. She's the one that sets the rules of the road. But in my world, she quickly learns that all that male catering bullshit that the outside world uh, guys do does not apply here in this world i'm the motherfucking prize i'm the showpiece i'm the center of attention and when it's my set on stage the eyes are on me and guess what my eyes aren't necessarily on your ass it's always hilarious when uh dqs or drama queens uh in their chairs and as african gods in male form look past them walk past their table and even ignore them for what the DQ feel is uh, less than women. 
you know, the average women, the big sexy women, the women who she would normally have dominion over in the outside world. These are the women that are getting the attention in my space because these are the women who understand what the energy exchange is and what the true value exchange is all about in this space. This is what the less than woman knows understands and appreciates regarding the freeness uh, in this particular space and that can also be translated if a man is capable and understands how to present this in the outside world. This is truly the playground that the less than quote unquote woman feels completely open in and free to express who she really is in this space. And hopefully, at some point, the drama queen listens to the big sexy woman or takes notes and then starts participating with the protocols so that she too can join in in fun. Third, we have one of my favorites. It's the princess. Now, this is the one who, it's probably her birthday, it's probably her bridal shower, so, or, or even, um, one of her friends uh, divorce party and usually the princess has to be blindfolded in order to get her into this spot because they knew that she'd be too shy and would protest but once she's in my world well we'll discuss this more so on the patreon side but at the end of the day she walks in a princess but leaves a private little sex vixen Beyond that, we have the UC freak. Now, the term UC comes from, I don't know how many listeners are from urban spaces, but in Chicago, we got terms for different levels of law enforcement on the block. You know, you got the jump out boys, you got the slick boys, you got the alphabet boys, you got the UCs. The UCs basically is undercover. So, number four is the UC freak or the undercover freak. This is the one that will come in all incognito, got a trench coat on and glasses. Sometimes she'll come in with a friend slash alibi, you know, to corroborate the stories. This one is the wild card. And honestly, next to the princess, she's one of my favorite ones yeah, because she's a challenge to approach. It could go either way. And the UFC or undercover freak uh, could be anybody from an actress, to a model, to a judge, to a soccer mom. Most women are apprehensive at first because they're used to social constructs and the privileges afforded to them in the outside of another world. But when they venture into my world, it's a whole new ball game. That's where the excitement and mystery comes in for women. And that's what I train men to carefully identify and strategically to extract value from. Lastly, oh boy, lastly, we got the set out bitch. And basically the set out bitch or the, the SB uh, is um, cracked out on that demon dick and basically hangs around parties trying to get a fix. Just, just the bottom line. You know, the, in the industry is uh, relatively small, so the set out bitches are usually known. Um, unless she comes from another state or a different country. Uh, a set out bitch is very easily easily spotted because she follows almost no protocols. She immediately makes it known that she's here to get stuffed. Um, she makes rookies uncomfortable, but I have my own way of dealing with them because our regulars still have the mentality of women of the outside world. And if they see that you smashed a set out bitch, then that lowers your ranking and value as an ASP, believe it or not. And I don't let no pussy fuck with my paper. Uh, usually the experienced dancers know how to move around her and some even know how to get some bread off her. Um, in that space, almost anybody can be finessed, especially, you know, that set out bitch. But mostly the, um, the, the SB is the one that most people try to avoid because even though my world is one of freeness of sensual energy and expression of sexual impulse it's still a business and any successful business has to have protocols has to have house rules 
A successful business has to have boundaries and systems of accountability. So at the end of the day, these are five types of women that you'll see at uh, either a strip club, a private party, a lockdown party, as we call it in Chicago, bachelorette party, girls night out. And just in your musings and in your day-to-day activity, and if you're rolling around town, gentlemen, just sit back and observe and see if you can pick out any of these five different types of women that you may see at a strip club. And as always, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.